Hey, my name's Andrew, and today we're talking about the Canon M6 Mark II and why I purchased it here in 2023 and why I think maybe you should too. So my first reason why I bought the Canon M6 over all these other cameras is because I am a Canon M50 user. I did not sell my Canon M50 when I bought the M6. For me, it wasn't really an option of getting rid of the Canon M50 because I really liked it. So if you're kind of in the same boat where you own the Canon M50 and you're looking for a second camera or an upgrade, I actually really like the fact that the Canon M6 is an M mount system. To some people, the M mount system is outdated, but for me, I love the M mount. There's lenses that I really like, like the Sigma 16 millimeter, the Sigma 30, the Canon 22 millimeter, and there's just a lot of great lenses. And the fact that Canon is now moving away, not moving away, they've pretty much ditched the M lineup. So that means that there's going to be sales on the M mount lenses and cameras. I haven't really been impressed with the R mount lenses out there, um, especially on the budget end. I know there's some really good ones, but I don't feel like spending a thousand or $2,000 on a lens. So I really like the Sigma lenses. And so if you're kind of in the same boat where you've invested money into a Canon M50 or you know, you're know you looking at cameras and thinking, where can I save money? The M mount system, cameras and the lenses are going to be on sale and they're gonna be much more affordable, which I just think is a big pro. So the next reason I bought the Canon M6 is the price. You can pick a new one up for about $849, um, but I actually found one refurbished for $679 on Canon's website which at that price, I just felt like it was a no brainer. So for me, the second reason is the price. Number three, the Canon M6 comes with 1080p 120 frames per second. So what that means is you can get really nice slow-mo and I've tested it and it just honestly is really satisfying to have that option to shoot in 120 frames per second at 1080p. The next reason I bought the Canon M6 is the 4K, no crop. And 4K isn't really what I'm going to be shooting on like as a standard, I think 1080p is still good enough for me but I think it actually looks really crispy and I didn't realize I would love it that much. Zooming into 400% and still having good 1080p quality coming out of it, I think is just a big pro for me. All right, and one more bonus feature that I'm not really gonna be using and that is that the Canon M6 is able to live stream. If down the road I would wanna do a Q&A live stream or something like that or use this as a webcam, I have that option now with this camera. So that's kind of just a bonus feature that um, I found that I actually was kind of happy that I heard. So the next thing I wanna talk about really isn't like a feature of the camera, but from my research, people comparing the Canon M6 Mark II to other more professional cameras, which are, you know, much more expensive cameras. When you're looking at the footage side by side, and you kind of have to like look back and forth and I actually don't really know which one's better. That to me is a big indicator that this older and cheaper camera is actually, since it can produce that good of an image that it's kind of hard to tell the difference between the two, that it's actually a really good camera to invest in. So for me, it was kind of a peace of mind that like I don't have to spend a lot of money to upgrade my camera to be more professional. So just the comparison videos, just being able to see the footage side by side and knowing that, you know, yeah, I can spend a lot more money and get a little better of an image. The Canon M6 is going to be producing plenty of good quality videos and photos and so that's that was kind of a peace of mind knowing like I this is a good camera to buy. Where I think this camera isn't really specifically designed for is photographers and vloggers. Now I know that's a lot of people and I'm not gonna say that you know you can't use this camera for photography or vlogging, but there's kind of some cons that make it not ideal. So those two cons are that there's no viewfinder on the Canon M6. Now you can buy one for the Canon M6 that just slides on the top of the hot shoe. Um, but I think they look kind of tacky and I personally don't think I would use it that much. And the other con is the flip screen flips up rather than out for vlogging. So you can use it for vlogging, but you can't attach an external microphone. So when you flip the screen up, the microphone's gonna be in the way and you're not gonna be able to see the screen. So for vlogging, it's not ideal. And for photography, not having a viewfinder is not ideal. But where I think this camera does shine is for video. Not having a screen that flips out is a pro to me, being able to just tip it up when I'm gonna get a low shot, it's just right there, perfect angle. I don't really need a viewfinder for video. So for me, the Canon M6 Mark II is an ideal camera for filmmakers, whether that's for wedding videos or for YouTube videos. Um, this whole time you're watching actually the Canon M6 Mark II and I just think the quality that you're able to get out of this camera for the price is absolutely phenomenal. So if you're going to be doing video, filmmaking, wedding videos, YouTube videos, I think the Canon M6 Mark II is a pretty wise investment and paired with 
um, the lens you're watching now, the Sigma 16. Just an absolute perfect combo for making YouTube videos. So I think for most budget filmmakers, the Canon M6 Mark II is a good logical option. I know there's plenty of options out there and it can kind of be overwhelming, but I think from my research, um, it just was a really smart move for me to you know, spend the $600 on a refurbished Canon M6, and I know I'm gonna be using this for many years into the future. So those are my opinions on the Canon M6. Not really a full review. I know there's lots of reviews out there, and I haven't really showed you any sample video footage other than, <laughs> I guess, what you're watching right now. But that is it for this video. If you guys had any comments or questions at all, leave them in the comments section below. If you did enjoy this video, drop a like. And if you wanna see more reviews about the Canon M6 or Canon M50 or any budget filmmaking gear, I do that all the time on this channel, so consider subscribing. And if you do, I'll see you next time.